finding a treatise on superfluous things, I discover Wen Zenheng, its diligent determiner flushed with considering market share that rainy morning, had faithfully listed water and rocks in chapter three, followed by birds, fishes, calligraphy, and painting. Wondering at the superfluity of these elemental forces, as if persuaded, like the woman in the tale, to sell her soul to remove their perilousness, I became convinced by his accountancy, their value, not that it might be spirited away or subjected to, up, subject to other vagaries of an alluvial or computational nature, but that on the page on his wet black ink, brush strokes contending with dampness in the air, water and rocks produced their own collisions, a flowing beyond carried on his fingers to a woman's skin.